The defensive front, they got just pin their ears back and get after him now. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And yeah, taken right at the 35. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Henson dancing to his left. Airing one out deep for Holmes here. And that is caught. But how about that one? He reeled it in one-handed for a touchdown. And that's now his fourth touchdown pass in the ball game. And boy, this has been quite a performance for the junior, as we remind you, getting his first ever college start. And this has really been an amazing story because ordinarily, when a junior's making his first start, he's had a few reps along the way prior to it, but in this case, the number is zero. So this is almost off the charts. They were watching him make his first start as a junior, and already he's thrown four touchdown passes in this game. This is absolutely amazing. After the touchdown, the LSU Tigers kick team out there to send this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to... And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Off the play fake, Barrett. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. From the gun, Barrett. Throw left side complete. That's Simpson. Fighting his way through contact. And all the way down to the 39. A big play there on the catch and run. 52 yards. No surprise he was targeted on that play because you and I both know quarterbacks like guys who catch the ball. But they actually expect that. They love the guys who do something with it after the catch. They're impressive making him miss on that tackle attempt. Barrett looks to throw on first. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone. Under pressure and down he goes. But that takes a start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Throwing on third and long. Barron buying time to his left. 
And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Takes over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tab and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. 27-yard line. Again, it's Kelly. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. Makes it third and three. Operating from the gun, Henson, and he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way, so he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on to the next play. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. The 41-yard line. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Here's a first and ten, Oregon. From the gun, Barrett. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A gain of six there on first. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Operating from the gun, Barrett. And caught by Cameron right side. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. yard line. From the gun, Barrett. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Throwing again. Barrett. That'll be taken in by Anderson. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. This offense so far on third down, they've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and three. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Good. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. A second down carry for Ferguson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. The Ducks will come up now on a first and goal situation. Operating from the gun, Barrett. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. That'll 
I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Another try after the first down sack. Barrett. Barrett's pass. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Back to throw Barrett. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception. But really... And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Oregon. From 17 yards out. And his guys are able to close that gap just a bit. For the extra point. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Is good. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. The onside kick recovered by the hands. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now an option play, and he'll keep it. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. From the gun on third down. Henson, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. That one looks like he'll throw here. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Mason Thibodeau, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And LSU adds on to their advantage. Touchdown number five for the junior quarterback, and that certainly makes Coach O'Brien's job at the postgame press conference a lot easier. And you're right, it certainly made Coach O'Brien's press conference awfully easy. But how about the conversation he's now going to have to have with Tommy Matthews? Because all indications we had from talking with Coach during the preseason, he told them both that they were going to get their chance. But now that this guy's thrown five touchdown passes, now he has to go back to Tommy Matthews and kind of shrug his shoulders and say, I know what I intended to do. I know what we talked about. But he's got the hot hand. We're going to have to go with it. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. It's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. One final shot. They'll look to throw. 
He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Today's final score.